What's up my dudes, Val here, and today we're going to be going over the new dragon update, what all it entails, and I'm going to be talking about the new teams and new units, etc. Um, I'm really only going to be going over one unit in this video, as you guys know, I like to give each unit its own video, but to explain the dragon shop for you guys, I'm going to let you guys know this right now, this is the best time if you are a new player to pick up this game and start playing, uh, because all you got to do is get carried in a new stage a couple times and get to the point where you can get any of these new units. You're going to go ahead and you're going to run a stage. You can either get medals as drops or you get points. And you can convert the points into medals and use the medals to go ahead and summon. If you get any of these units, they are all very, very good in their own right. As you will see as I go and showcase the units. But, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and showcase uh, today. We're going to showcase the Silverware Princess. But first, is there nothing for you to play on Roblox? Well, good news, Anime Crossover Defense is a game I'm really excited for that's coming out on May 10th. This game's got one of the best summoning animations I've ever seen, as well as really cool systems like the artifact feature and double upgrades. Make sure to check the pinned comment for a Discord link and go ahead and join. All right, now we're gonna showcase the Silver War Princess. So the one thing that's going to stick out to everybody's face is Silver Category Leader Skill Attack plus 140%, range plus 10%, SPA minus 5%. This is an absolutely insane uh, leader skill. It blows everything currently in the game out of the water, but it's fine. It's very fine simply because I know a lot of people are freaking out saying it's way too strong. There's only four total units in the category counting the secret rear, which I don't have. <clears throat> and these units are probably never going to get touched again. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're fans of uh, Ragnar Crimson, this... this team is probably never going to get buffs it's probably never going to get evos nothing like that this is probably it if you manage to get the secret rare that's the only other fourth member of this team but this is it this is all this is ever going to be so hopefully this leader skill is strong enough to help this team last the uh our stand the test of time and last a couple updates so even as stronger newer stuff comes out this team can still be really good so we have uh silver princess here on silver mystic four size precision Pure Heart, Frozen Heart, Love Pressure, Hero, Demon Hunter, Unyielding Spirit, Hunter's Instinct, Flower, Esper, Emperor, Star Blessing, and Team Force. Really good, especially in that Esper category. They needed it. They needed that uh, little buff. Her being Esper is really, really, really good. So, she is absolutely insane. She is going to be one of the first good hill units in a very long time. Um, I know I said Tatsumaki was good, right? But even Tatsumaki gets kind of mogged on by Grimmy. And this has always been the kind of like the standpoint I have is that hills in AWTD, let's be honest with ourselves, hill placement is normally awful. There's normally not a lot of good spots to put a hill. And hill units normally suffer from having exact same stat lines as ground units, while also having the disability of being a hill unit, right? So she kind of fixes that in the fact that you'll see here in a second in how she fixes it. Um, she, once you put her on placement, has 108 range off rip. Uh, really, really damn good. And I have her on not 115 range, but 115 attack. So 17.51k attacks that on placement. You can see she also has a buff, increased 5% attack per upgrade silver category units in range. What this means is that she's able to actually buff up everybody that's on the silver team. You know, the team with the crazy leader skill. Once again, this team has to stand the test of time. So as it's coming out, yes, it's going to be very good. It's going to be very good for a while, but it's going to slowly drift down as stronger and stronger stuff comes out. Just, that's just the way things work. So next up, we're going to go ahead and see the animations. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen them yet. Let me just go ahead and put down idle. I want to put idle down now and let me see the animations i've recently got into uh, ragnar crimson because i knew this update was coming so i wanted to like watch the anime and it's actually pretty dope highly recommend checking it out so let's see all right just summons a whole bunch of swords this one's the full aoe that's right on uh, upgrade four five and six i believe yes it goes up to 338k 4.75 second full AoE unit. Uh, really, really bonkers. The range is nuts. Uh, I think the range being nuts is good for hill units. Uh, but yeah, like I said, these units need to be good for a while. So hopefully they, you know, hopefully they last. I don't know. So you guys can see. 
Big Bomb, Big Boom, La Bomba. Pretty cool animation. And then we get into the last one, our last upgrade. She ends up on 1.22 million with a 6 SPA, well, 5.7 SPA, and summons a big nuke from the sky. One big old spear from the sky. You can see and it does ice and all that stuff. So she has freeze two. Freeze two is a 40% chance to freeze. It's it's okay. Uh, 1.31 million right there. I guess the um, I guess her own silver buff finally updated. So 1.31, and now we're gonna go ahead and put down her at three place limit and see exactly what she can handle. See how good she is. So let's go ahead. Let's put this down. Let's go over here. We don't need to bring Flower Magician because their range is perfectly self-sufficient. They don't need Flower Magician to actually have really good range. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. And now we're going to see exactly what she can accomplish and how good she can be. So, let me make sure I have all of them maxed out. I do. Let's go ahead and summon a... What's a standard one? Let's try 100 mil. Almost every unit in the game can handle 100 mil. Let's see how she handles it. All right, let me turn off effects real quick so I can keep track. She's handling it pretty handedly. Pretty solid all in all. Um, you guys can see it's still getting through. It's still able to push a little bit. If I had Flower Magician, probably would be able to kill it a lot easier. But yeah, this is that 40% I was talking about. Yeah, just barely handles 100 mil. So with Flower Magician, probably around a 200 mil target she can take out, which I think is perfectly standard along all these, uh, perfectly standard for units. I think it's really good. Um, I'd say probably like Flower Magician, nah, probably not a 200 mil, probably like 150 mil she can take out. That's pretty good. That's not like anything game breaking, nothing super meta. It's mostly because Freeze 2 itself is just, like I said, not really anything insane. Uh, but all in all, super, super solid unit. Really, really, really good. All these units this update are really good. And yeah, she's just she's good. Whenever you put them all in together as a team, they're kind of wacky. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys like this update? Do you guys hate this update? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.